said, what's up, Larry? He's like, what's up, Jack? I said, you all right? He said, nah, man, the police putting glass in my food. They was putting glass in his hamburgers, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And, and stomping a nigga out. Oh, they was whooping him? Yeah, they was fucking Larry up, man. Fucking Larry up. What year you was uh, on the island with him? 86. After the riot. After the riot, we set that shit off in C95. That's why if I ever go, I mean, I'm never going back to Rikers Island ever in my life, but they'll never put me in C95 or any other building except HDF. They got that shit on record. He's never allowed in this building. Right. Like I want to be in their building. What does HDM stand for? Housing for Dangerous Men. Mm. And, that, and that's what's in that motherfucker playbook. Nobody played at age, man. You better come with it. You gonna get tested. We had a uh, previous conversation about the real 50 Cent. You see that he had a documentary out. Produced and directed by Jimmy Henchman, where he was portrayed to be like a bloodthirsty stick-up kid that did what he wanted in Brooklyn. Man, listen. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. That nigga ain't, that nigga ain't never saw for more than five or ten thousand dollars on the stick-up. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. What he did do, when he did rob something with, with one of his homies, he turned around and robbed his homies up. Tried to set his homies up to get robbed. And he found out his own friends killed him, so... That's what happens to all filthy niggas, man, sooner or later. Man. I got no fucking props or respect for that nigga. Right. Maybe he's gonna ride his out and beating the shit out of him downstairs. And, uh. Too, every, too little to defend himself? Yeah, very real skinny. So I was upstairs, to, so that's when I, right before I set off the riot, I was upstairs in uh, Fort Top. And he was in the lowers. And niggas was like, yo, man. You know, niggas beating 50, uh, 50 up. And I said, yeah, you know, I paid no mind. And then uh, two girls came to see me, you know? One of them was fuck one of them at the time. I ain't gonna call their names, my own girls. And they was like, Jack, you look out for them. I said, I can't do that. I can't attach my name to that kind of shit. I don't fuck with any nigga that turn around and flip on his homies. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no moral compass, nigga. I don't fuck with you. So more than likely, a lot of a lot of his problems on the island stem from shit that, that the little nigga did on the street. Yeah, he, so you know he's getting his just due. Get your just due handle it, my nigga. Right. You feel me? You do dirt, dirt come right back at you, my nigga. This world is round for a reason, playboy. What goes around comes around. You know what I mean? If I was living foul, my nigga, I wouldn't be here. All this shit they put on the internet, 99% lies. If I was a fucked up nigga, hey, Knowing the niggas I was running with, if you knew the niggas I was running with, if I was a fucked up nigga, niggas would have aired me out, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? The reason I'm still here, my niggas, because my niggas love me, homie. Fuck with me if you want to, them niggas that tear your goddamn ass up. You and your proof. No. I don't live foul, nigga. I make sure my niggas are alright. One thing I don't do, I don't rob my friends or kill my friends. We got a problem, we go our separate ways. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas feel like they got to kill their friends. To prove what? You know this nigga's mother, his sister, or his kids, and then you still kill them? You's a piece of shit. You know? There ain't nothing two friends can't work out. You know? You just It just might take some time to be worked out. But it can be worked out. I don't kill none of my friends. Right. All robbers. Right.
that makes it 13 months. You got nine more months in uh, 96, which makes it 22 months. So he was he was able to, to give his statements for 22 months, his grievances, let off any steam he wanted to for 22 months. And now he's been dead 22 years. Ironically, right? So this is my thing. Pop got shot in 94 on November, and he went to the hospital. He gave up some interviews there. He talked to reporters. Then he went, got sentenced, to, I think, the day or the week, that same week. Went to jail, had interviews with various journalists. Right? Not one time did Pac say, Jack snitched on me on that case. Right? Different trials. What does that mean, my nigga? Dudes have different trials all the time. Okay? Because they feel they got a better chance to win on their own. That's, 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 that's normal for those of you who don't know the game. Right? My thing is this. He never said nothing when he was in jail. He never said nothing when he got out of jail. And he had over a hundred interviews. Not one time did he say, Jack snitched on me, told on me. Or showed any proof. Paperwork. His lawyer got to get paperwork from the DA. If I said something or signed something, his lawyer is entitled to that information. It's called discovery. For you niggas who don't know what that is, right? So all I want to know is this. These 22 months hat Pac had to get at me, he only got at Big and Puff. I mean, yeah, Big and Puff won't hit him up. He didn't get at me. He didn't say Jack did this, Jack did that. But as soon as, because as soon as he died, this song comes out. Now, why didn't this song come out when Pac was alive? Because Pac knew it was alive. Because Pac knew that song was never supposed to come out. That was just something they would do in the studio, you know, and just talk and shit, weed it up. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Daz, weed it up and said some slick shit out of his mouth. I'm gonna get a story I'm gonna give to protect the innocent and to protect the guilty. It was in a setup. You sound like a setup, bitch. Flat out. It was a setup, bitch. Like I said before, her and her subject. Like Patient man. Jack, call him Herschel because he was man, snitching and running and shit. You know? All you rap niggas out there, all you boss niggas out there. You're a gangster, you're killing niggas, but you're also snitching too, boy. That's a deadly combination. A killer, a snitch, that's a deadly combination in the hood. Leave that motherfucker alone. Fuck and me and Fuller. Fuck would 
never went to jail and have to sign his life over to, to show. You feel me? That's number one. Number two, Pac getting set up at quad. Pac knew he was being set up, playboy. Pac went over there with his gun knowing he was being set up and went anyway because he wanted to show whoever was calling him that he, is, he ain't scared. He brought his gun and his ego. What he doesn't realize, right, Brooklyn niggas move a little different, homie. You know, and Pac ain't ready for that. That's not his life. He come from theater and acting. And this was a no show. This was the real deal. You know what I'm saying? And they got at him. Let me tell you something about me. I would never order a hit on Pac or set Pac up because I don't set my friends up and I consider Pac a friend. Anyone who knows me throughout my whole life knows this. I don't rob my friends, I don't set them up, and I don't hurt my friends. Because if I did, I wouldn't be here. Because what goes around comes around. You feel me? So that would never happen. And another thing, if I set Pac up, I would just tell you I set Pac up. Because I'm not afraid of none of you niggas, playboy. Are you kidding me, my nigga? Huh? You don't even want to see my team. Believe me when I tell you. And they out of here. And they hungry. And they want to get at y'all. But I'm not, not going to do that. Because you niggas ain't worth none of my niggas going back to jail. That's, that's, that's number one. Number two, who's scared to tell y'all we set Pac up? That's that. If I did it, I tell you. The nigga who did it, he should just tell y'all. Because he's never coming home either. So he might as well be honest and just say, look, man, I'm the nigga that set Pac up. And be done with this bullshit. You understand what I'm saying to you? And, 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 and the second part of it is this, though. Pac went on over there for $2,500. If he felt $2,500 was enough for him to almost lose his life and get robbed, that's not the, that's not nigga that's thinking. If you know you're being set up, though, fall back. Tell a nigga you cast and see who runs out of the building, who moves. Then you know who to look for. You understand? Like I said, if I set Pac up, I just tell you, because number one, Statue limitation ran out. Number two, we ain't scared of nobody out there that want to defend Pac, man. If that be the case, you know what I'm saying? We hard to find play. Well, give us a call. Send your number to Gully. I'll call you and we'll meet up somewhere when I get back up top. You feel me? And whatever grievance you got, you know what I'm saying? We can, we can, we can, we can fix that. We can work on it. You know what I mean? I'll definitely adjust it for you, my nigga. You understand? Don't come at me with no gangs and shit. Oh, yeah, Jack, uh, uh, yeah, such and such. You know, Rob, Rob from 303 and, and, and Zeke from 101. You know what I'm saying? Put your real name up there, nigga, and your phone number. Yeah, just you, you call yourself a tough guy. Talk about you want to me. Cut it out, little nigga. Man, I've, been, I've been knocking niggas down since 1977, nigga. You wasn't even born, little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Bow down to a nigga that's greater than you, little nigga. All right? You ain't ready for me and what I got coming for you. You don't want to see none of my niggas play boy. But this ain't the message I want to send. But I'm getting tired of you motherfuckers talking about this. Snitch shit ain't got no motherfucking paperwork. 1996, Pac been dead. It's 2018. When you gonna show the paperwork, my nigga? When you gonna show it? Where is it at? And, uh, uh, and, and besides that, who did I put in jail? My whole motherfucking life, right? Who? Not one nigga that's come on the internet and even lied and said Jack put me in jail. Don't make up no paperwork now and don't go find nobody to lie because you had 22 motherfucking years to do it. All right? Go to his lawyers to get the paperwork or go get the court transcript. Public knowledge, my nigga. You feel me? My thing is this, man. Until y'all get some proof, just do me a favor and shut the fuck up. Fade the black, Jamel.